Nestled atop of Middle Ridge, with a view like no other, is the home of John and Joan McIntyre. If the view isn't relaxing enough, inside, the McIntyres sit beside a fire, kept company by none other than man's best friend, of the golden type, golden retrievers. And to top that for maximum chilling effect, the McIntyres can be comforted even more by the fact that they help their fellow man with their canine companions. I'm Greg Larry for HampshireReview.com. For the last 28 years, John and Joan McIntyre have been breeding the dogs and giving the puppies over to be trained as service dogs. Their home, located on the Hampshire-Mineral County border, west of Romney, West Virginia, currently has 11 adult golden retrievers and several pups there as well. This is Frosty and he's a little boy. This is Holly. She's a little girl and she's an escape artist. She has already learned to climb out of her whelping box. And they have litters every, we've had litters from one puppy to 14. No kidding, one to 14. We had one that weighed three ounces. That's smaller than a cube of butter. Oh, and she my. fed it for two weeks with a tube down his throat about every four hours. And it's a therapy dog for children in a hospital up in Hayslip, New York now. One of the main recipients of the McIntyre's pups is a program known as Paws for Vets. The program is a community support network of the United States Army's Wounded Warrior Program. Okay. Paws for Vets, but these are. Yeah, and these are, of course, these are for the Wounded Warrior Group. Okay. Uh, and they go up there and they, they have really expanded that program. The program works as follows. After the pups reach around seven weeks old, they are picked up and taken to prison. That's right. They are taken to one of five federal prisons where inmates, who are in good standing, are given the task of training the dogs for their next mission, which will be helping a veteran with specific needs receive assistance. And so they're actually trained by people that are incarcerated. Huh? Yes, they call them slammer dogs. And they are raised by the uh, inmates for 18 months. And then at 18 months, if they're going to have a specialty, they go to other prisons that teach more extensive special training. For example, uh, if they need to open doors or if they have to turn on lights. That's why the dogs are sometimes referred to as assistance dogs. The prisoners who have received training themselves on how to train dogs may prepare the retrievers for many types of service work. They may help vets with post-traumatic stress syndrome or with mobility issues for the handicapped. Oh, one of the, one of the veterans that took a puppy, uh, he was really in bad shape. He'd come back from Iraq and uh, the mother wrote a letter saying that the puppy that was sent to him saved his life. He had tried to commit suicide three times and the puppy had just changed his whole life. It just, uh, he's gonna go back to college. They may also be reader dogs or simply provide therapy for those with emotional or psychiatric problems. The dogs are also used for many other needs besides assisting veterans. Those needs range from visits with nursing home patients to being cadaver dogs. One of their dogs named Riley was a cadaver dog at the Pentagon following the 9-11 attacks. We sent Riley uh, to a lady who worked for the FBI and Riley was going to go be a a rescue dog and they found out right from the very beginning that Riley had a much better ability to do search which is cadaver and Riley was uh, on site at the Pentagon at 9-11 and did uh, search work at the Pentagon and she also went up uh, to uh, New York and did search there the McIntyres, who got into breeding the puppies in earnest when they became empty nesters after their children had moved away, cite their love and passion for the animals and the satisfaction they get from helping other people through the dogs as their reason for being breeders. They receive little money for their duties. They only receive payment for the costs involved in rearing the retriever pups. Joe, can you tell me what is it you enjoy most about raising golden retrievers? I believe, well, the breed itself makes it pleasurable. Uh, I think, though, the thing that has made the most difference to us are the people that we've met through this. I think it's a companionship, 
and the never worrying about a thing about them. That's one of the best points. They have raised hundreds of puppies over the years and subsequently have helped hundreds of people as well. John and Joan McIntyre continue to love what they do and from their mountaintop sanctuary, they hope to continue with their passion well into the future. I'm Greg Larry for HempshireReview.com.